Neuralink is launching a new US trial where they are taking your thoughts and turning them into text. Now this is different than just what Neuralink has been doing before, which is also crazy. But with this, <laughs> it's really for people with speech impairments to be able to take their thoughts and then be able to communicate with it. Now they're gonna start with medical conditions like ALS, stroke, blindness, and Parkinson's disease. But I think the application, the future applications of this are really wild because it's, it's right around the corner. Yeah, they're planning on getting implants into patients that even individuals that are healthy by 2030, if they so choose. By 2031, they're planning on scaling up to 20,000 implants per year. So the expansion happening very rapidly. And this is something you've been talking about around the house all day about this whole speech to text. I don't know if yeah. I want to be in your thoughts. You've got a lot of well, strange thoughts. You, The black holes that you're talking uh, yes. about all day this morning. I have a lot of <laughs> random things I get obsessed with. But what I, I, I do think is cool because you're taking your thoughts and then potentially you could just think about where you want to go in your car and then your car would you know, drive you there essentially with just that thought. Now, there are some thoughts, obviously, you don't want everyone to know about. <laughs> and if these are put out there as text, is there a way to like override it and say, hey, you know, I had this weird dream last night. And I don't really want my husband to know about that dream. I think the world we're entering with robotics and AI, there's going to be so many of these little things that initially are going to be concerning that we have to find solutions for. So yes, there's, there's yeah. going to be a lot of those gray areas.